Hey guys, I'm Gary Goldsberry from North Jersey Mixed Martial Arts, Lafayette, New Jersey. Assistant Instructor Tyler Moore. And we're going to go over uh, just finishing a triangle a little bit. Um, past weekend we were at a tournament and the IBJJF rules have changed a little bit. Pretty much you're not allowed to grab the head at all to finish the uh, triangle. It's now considered a neck crank, which, you know, some guys that's, you know, their bread and butter, how they finish, but since I train a lot of youth, teens they were never allowed to so we really worked on finishing triangles without having to do that so i'm just going to kind of show you some of the stuff you guys probably have seen i'm not a triangle expert by any means i got short stubby legs i'm only five foot six but um this works for me once once my legs get around and they are small if i can lock it in it's super duper tight so all right so from here come in get my triangle i lock it in okay so ideally you know if I'm here and I just kind of throw my hips up and it's not in yet, then I gotta do all this adjusting, moving, all that stuff, okay? But, guys that are a little higher level, when you shoot up, you're pretty much already in this angled position. See how my angle switched already? You don't wanna be straight up, all right? This is why a lot of guys, even though this is tight and I'm locked pretty deep and this arms are crossed and everything's here, even though I'm squeezing, he's not in too much danger. That's why guys are pulling the head to finish here, all right? So we want you guys to get an angle on your triangles also. Here, up, see how I switch, just like an armbar. I'm almost in an armbar situation. Now, a couple different things we can do. I'm not too worried about this arm because my legs are super tight around this neck already. I want to be able to flex my calves, not pointing them down, okay? What I like to do here is we either go underneath the leg to turn a little bit more. You can go underneath the arm also. But another quick little detail, I'm just gonna let Tyler breathe a little bit. From here is, I like to just put this hip to the mat. Once I do this, it cinches it tight and I can just finish with my legs, okay? So we're here, stop, switch my hips in the air. Now notice how this hip's up. This is what a lot of guys do. They push, they finish. I like to actually drop this hip to the mat. See how that cinches it in? Now he's really tight, I just flex, we finish. All right guys, one more time. Okay, as I'm grabbing that leg, we're separating him from his base more, so the more we stretch him out, the less effective his base is for him. So we have more surface area to choke with our legs, the more we stretch him out than if he was scrunched up. Alright guys, play with that, see how it works for you, enjoy.